didn't see you guys come in. Thanks for joining me this week uh, for this week's episode of Greaser Garage Dirty Daily Drivers. Well, uh, we're starting inside the house today because she's about minus 20 ambient outside. That's Canadian, mind you. So that's about minus 4 for the American viewers. Uh, with a wind chill about minus 27. That brings us to about minus 16 Fahrenheit for you Americans. Uh, basically that translates to really dang cold. So, uh, I'm just doing a little brushing up on it so we can keep today's job nice and short and quick. Because the least amount of time we have to spend outside in those kind of temperatures, the better it is. So, I'm going to go fire the truck up so we've got a little bit of heat to work in. And uh, I'll meet you guys out in the garage. Hey, glad you guys made it through that ice storm out there. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is a job I've been putting off uh, from, well, probably early uh, May, June. When it was actually nice outside and actually fully a better time to do this job than it is today. But, as you can see, I've got some other projects kind of on the go which I'm working on. So I need a little bit of space freed up in the garage. So I figured today would be a good day to take the seat that I got from the auto wreckers and get it swapped into the truck. Uh, bring you guys along for the journey and uh, bundle up. We'll try not to die a frostbite. Okay, so I'll take you through a couple of the tools we're going to need for this job. Here's the seat. We're going to need a ratchet. I'm using a half inch drive ratchet. Also brought herself along a 916 wrench, 916 socket. This beautiful thing here, which is a uh, universal adapter it kind of gets a little bit of angle on it for hard to reach places can of uh, penetrating oil releasing agent and uh, an impact because i don't want to spend a million years outside dying of hypothermia okay first thing we're going to do is lean the seat forward here and if you have a look in the back you can just make out where the four bolts are for this seat there's one here and there's a corresponding one on the passenger side just in front of the seat. What we're going to do is spray some of the lubricating oil on here, just kind of like that, and we'll give it on both sides here the same treatment. That'll help loosen up those bolts because they've been in there probably for the life of this truck. Okay. We're going to go back in the garage and warm up for a minute as we let that oil soak in. And that's pretty much all there is to it. We just hit the all four bolts with a little bit of penetrating oil, let it soak in, and then we can hit it with the impact and we should be good to go. Bonus uh, tip and trick. If you have a door that doesn't like closing because you got a latch that's sticky, the uh, releasing agent of choice actually works pretty good at keeping it lubricated. Have a look, I'll show you how open the door here and hit that latch with some of this WD. We'll work it open, work it closed, release it again, brand new. Okay, so what we're going to do is get our tools prepped here in the garage. Because the least amount of time we have to spend outside in the cold, the better. And uh, make sure she's set in the right direction. Lefty Lucy. And we're going to dial down our impact setting to the lowest setting. Because we want to give those bolts the best chance at not stamping. Okay, so we got her on there. And we'll just try impacting it out now. She's really in there. She broke. New plan. Okay, so uh, our new plan here, since the broke bolt off and I don't have a spare, and uh, it's dang cold, and uh, I don't have a proper extractor to get this style of screw out at this point in time, and I don't want to mess with that at this point in time, 
what we're going to do here is I'm going to bust out the welder and uh, we'll change the focus on the video from changing a seat using uh, an impact and breaking bolts to repairing a broken bolt in a seat using a welder in a dirty daily driver. Full on disclosure, what you're about to see is going to be some of the most hillbilly homemade dirt nasty repair you have ever witnessed. Do not under any circumstances attempt to do this at home. Uh, do not under any circumstances attempt to emulate this video and do not under any circumstances drive a vehicle with a welded seat. That being said, let's go have some fun. Okay, I've got our grounding clamp set up here. I've got our welder set up and dialed in on a decent enough heat setting, not too high, not too low. Uh, we're going to try to be mindful that we don't set all that penetrating oil on fire before we get started. And uh, safety first. Well, let's get into it. Watch your eyes. Okay, so our hillbilly welds all put in place. Um, only thing left to do now is give the seat a little tug test and see if she holds. Oh, there you go. Better in factory. This uh, firmly makes it spring of 2021's problem now. Well, cleanup for this job is going to be super simple. Put our masks away, put our welder away, close the garage up. And uh, go for coffee and see if the seat holds. Oh hey, they're still here. Well, thank you for joining me on this week's episode of Teresa Garage Dirty Daily Drivers. Total catastrophe aversion to uh, edition. Well, yeah, what we had today was a bit of a mix up compared to what our original plan was. But uh, stay tuned. Uh, sometime in the spring, hopefully you'll see a video of how to do that job properly and not how to just uh, rig it all back together there in a pretty ungodly fashion. Well, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you all next week. Full stop. Some of the things you saw in today's video were highly dangerous. Please, please, please do not attempt to do them at home. I am a highly trained professional. Uh, messer upper of cars but for serious all joking aside do not attempt to do anything you saw in today's episode Gigi, you gonna help me fix the truck today you gonna help me change the seat yes you are who's uncle book yeah. Film about a man changing a seat on his own because it's too damn cold. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, we're basically going to do the same process in the front as we did in the back. Mind your head on the way out. And uh, I'll come around the passenger side and do the exact same process. <laughs>